All right, the fear of missing out on the next big thing can cause people to make some pretty risky decisions. Indeed, and so tonight, KPRC2 investigates a Houston man accused of targeting the Latino community just trying to grow money for their families by investing in cryptocurrency. Investigative reporter Amy Davis breaks down what federal officers say was a Ponzi scheme that cost some families their life savings. Luxury cars, high-dollar hotels, and ritzy restaurants. Federal investigators say this man, Mauricio Chavez, lived lavishly after swindling some 5,000 families out of more than $12 million. So this is my contract right here. CFX Academy LLC. Edgar Rodriguez gave Crypto FX, the company owned by Chavez, $5,000. A friend of my, of my brother-in-law, she told my brother-in-law, hey, you know, you want to try it? Rodriguez and his brother-in-law went to this building on Blaylock where Chavez and other employees held classes, accepted money, and made payouts. And you see people getting $20,000, $30,000 for a uh, bonus for getting people in. We're like, I mean, this actually sounds pretty good. In these court documents, SEC investigators say those payments were made to provide the illusion that they had achieved significant trading returns when they had not. And when everyone would get their return back, everyone who was part of the company would say, oh, well, why don't you invest more? You're going to get it back. You've seen that you've gotten it back. Why not? It worked. Ileana Caez and her family received returns in cash several times, but now they're at $100,000. And it was my mom's savings. It was my savings, my sister's savings. A business built entirely by word of mouth within the Latino community. SEC investigators say it was also built on lies. They say 41-year-old Chavez appears to have worked as a landscaper before starting Crypto FX with no known background, education, or training in trading or investment management. Still, he operated in Houston, New Orleans, Chicago, Waco, Fort Worth, North Carolina, and California. While Chavez's promotional videos are still all over YouTube and social media, he is nowhere to be found. Anything. The office building on Blaylock is locked up. And no one answered the door at addresses we found for his family members. But in a recent court filing, Chavez's own attorney agrees his client is inexperienced, writing that after Chavez started trading cryptocurrency with his own money in 2015, friends asked him to teach them. In 2020, he opened Crypto FX with two business partners and no real management structure, leaving Chavez with a management task for which he was terribly ill-suited. But his victims, dozens of them who showed up outside this federal courthouse with pictures of crypto FX employees they say stole from them, aren't buying it. We came here to work and we're not going to allow a few people take advantage of our community. Before the SEC got involved, they say Chavez personally spent some $1.4 million on luxury cars and living at the posh Post Oak Hotel, among other expenses. Nine days after a court froze all of the company's assets, these surveillance pictures show Chavez and other employees at the Blaylock office counting cash in a Ziploc bag before they left the business for the last time. A court-appointed receiver is now trying to track down any remaining money or assets of the company so investigators can use that to refund victims with whatever they can collect, and that is if the SEC wins its case. If you lost money to Crypto FX, you should reach out to the receiver to let them know. We are posting the website online where you can email them. And before you invest any money with anyone, you should always make sure they're registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission. You can also see if they've been sued or sanctioned in any way. Way. We'll put those links for you also on clicktohouston.com. I'm Amy Davis, KPRC 2 News. Great.